hi all welcome to another video today we have a bike which needs to be restored somebody actually had abandoned this uh, near the bins um, when we asked our neighbor who has a small kid and who is just about to start riding bikes they told they would be interested but we didn't want to give it in this state so uh, what we are planning is to refurbish this kind of make it a bit not rusty as you can see there are a lot of rusty parts on this bike the pedal all seems to be fine actually very smooth but the hubs pretty sure needs servicing and the front brake seems to be missing there and uh, uh, there are a lot of rusty parts on this even the front hub the front brake uh, as you can see it's gone the front hub seems to be pretty rusty actually so needs a lot of TLC probably a bit of coat of paint let me see the rear tire seems fine there is a puncture on the rear tire though which needs to be fixed the bell seems fine and even the uh, rear brake seems fine but there are lots of rusty parts which needs a TLC and um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the rebuild of this cycle Cheers. So here we started off with removing the front wheel. My daughter wanted to help and uh, yeah, with kids it's a bit of fun. It's good for them to know as well, I guess. I'm just speeding up the video because it's a pretty straightforward process to remove the wheel. However, because it was a bit rusted, uh, it took a bit of a while but uh, we were in good spirits kids were happy that they're trying to get something to do and here you can see my daughter trying to wear some gloves which i said it's too big but she wanted to try it anyway now we got the first screw open trying to get the second one out now as you can see the bolts are nuts are uh, bolts and nuts both are rusted so yeah you can see that uh, pretty much the hub is rusted needs very good TLC here hopefully you can fix that now coming to the rear we'll first remove the uh, brake we'll release the brakes actually so that uh, I can remove the rear wheel so here my son got involved he wanted to help now we did remove it remove the brakes the cables and yeah we pretty much freed up the brake cable it's always good to put back that screw so that you don't lose it at the end i probably will uh, change the brake cable as well i'll see how it goes if i have some spares now coming to the rear wheel uh, we'll just remove these side support wheels and uh, actually the, the the side wheels were pretty solid uh, I didn't see any rust on them or anything it's just the hubs and the brake shoe which had some rust and some other metal parts but seems like uh, this side at least I think was okay but the inner plates again uh, were rusted that's something to look at now coming to the other side we we're trying to loosen this up the rear wheel actually seems pretty okay compared to the first uh, front one and uh, once you loosen it the carrier support is there you just need to remove the carrier support followed by the side support wheel and a lock key there and just need to loosen this part as well so that your wheel can easily come out so what this helps is this helps the wheel to move forward so before we remove the chain we'll probably move the wheel forward a bit and so as you can see on the right 
I try to pull the chain but it doesn't come off so I just push the wheel to the front and remove the chain and you can see the rear wheel actually in pretty good condition compared to the front now that the wheels are out uh, it's always good to give them a quick wash I'm using the Makov spray wash spray here the normal spray which you use for body wash of your bike so I'm putting a generous amount of the spray I'm using the normal Makov brush uh, these are pretty solid since the end of the brush does not have any metal parts in them so it won't cause any scratch so I'm going get a good scrub for both the front and the rear wheel because uh, I want to know the original condition of these spokes whether it's really worth doing the TLC or not for this the spokes are solid or not I just wanted to figure it out gave it a quick wash through for both of them and seems like they are in a decent condition so worth the TLC let's see so moving on we'll open the free wheel you need to hammer it on the anti-clockwise direction if you don't have the right tool you can just use a screwdriver and hammer it anti-clockwise as you can see there is a lot of gunk rust grease present here so i'll just try to quickly clean it up to see if the rust goes away and i could make out that the rust is pretty much clearing away so i just kept it to side i'll service this later because i saw it that it's a bit stuck it's not so free as i thought before just gave it a good wipe <coughs> now i'll try to now i'll try to open the axle for the hub so the center axle actually you need to hold one end with a plier or a wrench and the other end you can just rotate and take it out all you need to be careful about is you can see the ball bearings there completely dried out just need to be careful that you have a tub or something under it so that you can just plop it down and have it clean so if you see inside there's a lot of gunk old rusted grease water going in so it needs a good service clean up now if you see the other side as well so i'm removing all the ball bearings and again the both side had a lot of rust in them so you can just loosen the whole screw and it, the axle will come out now we are left with is the hub so as you can see there's a lot of rust and old grease dried up grease there time to clean it up so i just used a muck of cloth and uh, just dry cleaned it first and then used a brush to remove all the hub rust and the liquid i'm using is a degreaser it's a pretty strong degreaser so i'm wearing gloves to ensure uh, usually if you don't wear gloves it can cause some dryness of your screen so you can see already the hub is starting to shine so seems to be uh, some just the surface rust which is present there and not much internal rust some parts do have internal rust but uh, overall uh, it does give a decent shine so I also have the a free wheel here which seems a bit stuck I just gave a clean up I'll service this later now I'm trying to get all the ball bearings out and give it a good wipe uh, with the cloth dry it up even the axle I removed degreased it used the brush cleaned it up and just wiped it clean there was no internal rust on these so these are pretty much good to go just need to clean up and service them and uh, it's usable there's no harm in using this i just gave one soil for all the nuts and bolts i put it on the bucket and just gave them a degrease and a bit of brush to remove the surface rust <coughs> So 
so there are a lot of small items here so it's going to take a bit of minute now coming to the uh, rear wheel so here there is a bit of spring so you just need to be careful when you brushing it here uh, just ensure that uh, the spring is not out of position or anything on the hub this is especially for the rear wheel only so here you could see uh, there was lot of uh, rust particles here so so i'm trying to be as meticulous as possible trying to clean properly uh, using the brush uh, thoroughly <coughs> I try to open the hub as well. So it's the same procedure again. If you have two pliers or two wrench, you can just quickly open them up and just ensure that uh, what I noticed here was the ball bearing size from the front to rear differs. The front were a bit smaller compared to the rear and I gave them a once over as well. Same procedure, same cleanup procedure, same tools, same degreaser. And you could see here already that uh, the hub has a bit more rust compared to the rear wheel. Now the same for all the hub axle screws and the hub axle and the ball bearings just give them a once over clean now just a close up view this is the second time i'm trying to clean up the the hub <coughs> so i'm just showing you how internally how much gunk is present over there so you could see that the when I use the degreaser and the brush, the surface rust seems to be coming off pretty well. And you could see this part already shining up there. Now I'm just trying to assemble it back. I'm just putting grease on the hubs so that the ball bearings can stick. This is how they usually set up. I'm using a medium viscous uh, grease from Park 2. So you can use the same or any other grease which is available, but it should be medium so that uh, uh, medium to thick would work here. So it ensures that the ball bearing stick and doesn't run away. So I'm, I'm just using a pair of pliers to get hold of the ball bearings. It's the easiest way I could find. And the grease helps the ball bearings to stick and uh, doesn't move out of place. Now post this, I'll just insert the axle slowly from one end and just tighten it up. Uh, you just need to ensure if there are any washers or anything, you put it back in the right sequence. So here uh, for the front, uh, there were no washers, just the uh, one screw from the other end. And you can see the wheel moving freely. So it's been serviced well. I just give it a last clean up and uh, a screw to hold that uh, um, you can call it a cartridge on the same place ball bearing now the same thing i'm be doing it for the rear wheel so i'm just speeding it up so the procedure is same it is a bit tedious your hands will have grease a little bit dirty but it's worth so probably for the next five years it doesn't need a service again so the procedure is same. As you can see, the ball bearing size is a bit bigger for the rear wheel. So again, uh, you can just turn over and put it back. There you go. Now we'll just insert the axle just clean dry it first and insert the axle back this one has a washer at the back so we'll just insert the washer first and then put in the required screw 
to hold the washer so that the ball bearings are held safely together you should know you should ensure you don't tighten this too much uh, if not the wheel won't rotate smoothly so uh, so you just tighten it hand tight it and then put the top screw so that it doesn't come back and it holds on to that position the wheel has become butter smooth now both the wheels so now time to remove or service the free wheel so as you can see it goes clockwise so on the two dips you have on the top you just need to punch them to the clockwise direction and it will open the uh, cover here you need to have a bucket under it otherwise the ball bearings will fall out because you are actually removing the whole free wheel it, it just consists of uh, two sets of ball bearings one on the top and the bottom of the free wheel so as you can see it's again like there is a lot of gunk and absolutely no grease inside this so there are a, a total of uh, four washers present so i'm removing all the four washers now i'm just trying to be careful i'm just checking double checking to ensure once i lift this all the ball bearings fall down properly into that box and doesn't run away so the bottom set of ball bearings all fell inside that uh, box now we can see that even the top ball bearings i just seeing i was just seeing if there is any damage on it but uh, all seems well and i just tapped out all the rest of the ball bearings there and again there were not much grease in it so i removed all the washers and i just checked the springs as well just to ensure the spring bites into the teeth when you pedal so all seems fine here it just needed a good service good bit of grease clean up <clears throat> one of the ball bearings stuck there i just cleaned it up so now uh, with the cloth it just be gentle here uh, because you need to ensure the spring and the teeth doesn't uh, come out it has a spring you can just put it back again but if you are inexperienced it might be hard for you i just gave it a clean and there are two springs one at the bottom and the top which ensures that the when you rotate it uh, when you rotate your pedal it gets stuck so now you can see uh, it's the same procedure here uh, even for the free wheel i have applied grease on the top and the bottom and the number of ball bearings are high so you need to ensure all are cleaned thoroughly and kept in the sequence and none of them get missed out so it is a tedious process but if you are patient here so it ensures you have a good service for the next 5 years you don't need to open this again also i would recommend not to use uh, any degreaser directly on the free wheel because these don't have the good seals which our usual normal high end cycles have like the cartridge bearings or the cassettes or anything so just need to ensure you are careful and put this teeth in the right direction so i think there are around four washers put back the four washers and need to ensure you just grease the top a bit so that the water doesn't go in and just rotate it in the anti clockwise direction to thread it back in so once you put it in anti clockwise you just need to uh, tighten it so we just give it a good tap with the hammer so our free wheel is done the rear wheel is done now moving on to the body of the bike uh, we just giving it a quick wash so uh because it's such a, a long video already so we are planning to do a part 1 and part 2 probably part 3 and 4 as well because we want to paint some of those black parts and remove all the rust so the wheels were the main uh issue i saw the rest seems fine may not need uh, as much tlc as we initially thought so chain seems fine the the pedals all seems fine so wait for the part 2 cheers